Tonight we're going to talk about when Jesus said from the cross, he said, Father, forgive them. They know not what they're doing. I, I have actually put off using this particular um, story about Jesus because it's so intense for me. It's so beautiful and so intense at what all the things that Jesus went through and and yet how brave he was and how full of compassion for for his fellow man. The words of Jesus are that he just spoke on the cross were in are in Luke 23, in John 19, and in Matthew 27. And see that picture very clearly because I I several years ago had a vision of Christ on the cross. And from that cross, he could see all the way into the future. And from that cross, he could see me in all of my sin and every silly dumb thing I would do. And he stayed on the cross, seeing me and seeing my fellow man and all that they could do and all the junk we can do to one another. He stayed on that cross. Thinking about what happened, I mean, when, I think I've said this to you before. When I saw Jesus, his face didn't really look like a face because he had been so abused and so beaten. I could see his eyes fairly clearly, and his eyes were full of mercy and grace for mankind. So I can see. I can see what happened at the cross just because I saw how he looked and how he, how his mercy was so beautiful. On the ground, people were jeering and saying horrible things to him. The soldiers were spitting on him and gambling for his garments right under his, right under his nose. He's looking down at them and he can see them gambling for his garments. He can see all of these religious leaders standing back, screaming at him and, and having, you know, just no compassion for what he was going through. And yet, because he was the Son of Man, is the Son of Man, is the Son that saved us by his actions, he stayed. He stayed right there when he could have jump and run, but he didn't. He stayed on the cross for our very salvation. So as, as all that stuff was going on, as all the anger around him was going on, his heart was still for the people that he came to talk to, the people he came to set patterns for us. And to me, this is one of the, the hardest pattern he set. Can we learn to forgive others when they hurt us, when they're unkind to us, when they're, when they're lying? And we know they're lying and it still helped and it's, and it's still there. People still believe it. Can we still forgive them? Can we forgive them? And, you know, it's, it's an act of our will. It was an act of the will of Jesus. He, full of compassion, still chose to forgive, ask God to forgive those people at the foot of the cross. It, I keep talking about the patterns that Jesus has set for us. Those last few days, he left us wonderful patterns in all kinds of manner, in, in all kinds of manners, and one of them was the very act of asking his Father God to forgive people who were unkind to him, mean to him, and frankly, wanted to see him dead. Suddenly, forgiving others almost becomes. A minor thing to me. Suddenly I realized that if I don't forgive them, 
I carry them around on my back the rest of my life. And who does it hurt? Only me. It only burdens me down. It only slows down my pathway to God. And it doesn't hurt the people. They're, they're riding on my back. To me, this is the, one of the best gifts. I mean, I understand how important salvation is. But the fact that in this kind of situation, he was still teaching us, setting one more pattern, forgiveness. Will we understand how important forgiveness is and that it takes that heavy pack off of our back, drops it to the floor, and we are then lighter and it's so much easier to follow the Father God, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the voice of the Holy Spirit. I do need to make this one thing really clear. Just, I mean, Jesus did ask the Father God to forgive them. However, God cannot give us forgiveness just because that's what Jesus would like for us. Because in all my heart, I do believe that that's what Jesus wanted us to do. He wanted everyone at the foot of that cross, everyone who was angry and mean, he wanted them to, to be forgiven and have life in heaven. However, without repentance, forgiveness doesn't happen. We have to forgive, we have to repent for everything we're doing wrong before the Father God. He made it really clear to me one time that unforgiveness is a sin. I have to forgive people who I were, was angry at. And you know, sometimes that wasn't as easy as I thought it was. I thought I was doing it, but I was only doing it in word and not in emotions. So if I had not repented and meant it, God knows that. He knows exactly where our heart is. And so if repentance is not done with the right attitude, when we have repentance and we forgive those who have been unkind to us, maybe just downright mean, you know, I mean, I, I, I'm trying to be as real and as careful as I can be. But lots of us have had horrible things happen to us. And yet we still had to learn to forgive so that we could take that anger and resentment off our shoulders, out of our emotions. Part of the reason, part of the thing about the 39 stripes was by his stripes we, were, we can be healed, not only physically, but emotionally. Forgiveness is a huge uh, hurdle for many people. They feel like they were done wrong and they don't have the they don't have to forgive but forgiveness unloads us and allows us to know the father god the lord jesus christ and the holy spirit on a much more intimate basis and allows us to soar and fly free like eagles so tonight we're going to lift the bread. We're going to remember this pattern that Jesus set for us, this pattern of forgiveness. As I believe one of the harder patterns he left us to do, and yet one of the most freeing. Take the bread. Now, we lift the wine and we remember that by his stripes we were healed. We'll remember that the sinless blood of Jesus has purified us, has given us salvation, and we will be with Jesus. Father God, I thank you, I honor you for the gift of learning to forgive. 
Father, I thank you that all of us will understand that Jesus left us one more pattern and we can walk in that pattern as we've walked in his other patterns. I thank you that we will learn how to forgive and walk and soar like this, like the eagles. And Father, I thank you that if anything I said tonight was just of me, it disappears, dissipates, and gone, just like dust. But Father, if anything is of you, anything I said that was anointed and of the Father God, we never forget it. None of us forget your word and your will. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Okay. Thank you for being here. I do want to remind you to uh, uh, sorry, click like, click. Um, uh, oh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. If this particular video about communion has touched you in any way, I would like for you to send it to a friend. Just, just the first person that comes to you might have trouble forgiving or just might need to hear something about communion. I'd appreciate it if you'd just use that little button that says share and just share it with them. It was so awesome of you to be here tonight. I'm, I'm honored that you were here. I'll be here tomorrow night. Sometimes I'm, um, <laughs> uh, the right word, I'm just, I'm overcome with the presence of the Holy Spirit. And I thank you for being so kind tonight. See you tomorrow night. Bye.